Hello, beautiful souls. Hello, beautiful souls. Um, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Claudia Monicelli, also known as Christelle Martinet. And I'm very excited today. Oh, okay. I'm very, very excited for to be here with you today. Just to finish the presentation, I'm a healer, a soul therapist, a reader, psycho, uh, psychic medium, a voice and movement specialist. Um, today, this is another transformative journey where we uh, delve deep into the the topic in the world of emotional alchemy. Um, this is an intriguing concept. When we hear of alchemy, we always think of an old person putting things in, in little vials. Um, it's in, it also is known as something that can have an, a very, very um, important, profound impact on both personal and spiritual growth. Emotional alchemy is uh, the art of transforming raw emotions, okay, raw emotions into a powerful force for spiritual awakening and self-discovery. It's about embracing every feeling from joy to sorrow as a stepping stone toward a deeper awareness and understanding. Let me share a personal story that illustrates this beautifully. A few years ago, I found myself overwhelmed by a wave of anxiety and uncertainty. Here um, came into play family difficulties, uh, work difficulties, interpersonal relations, and, and you name it, everything, you know, when it rains, it pours. And instead of pushing the difficulties away, I decided to sit with the feelings that I had, exploring them and trying to understand them rather than resisting them. And what did I do? I used meditation and above all, I used journaling, writing every day. I began to see my anxiety not as a burden, but as sort of a messenger guiding me towards parts, those parts of myself that needed attention and healing. This shift in perception, because it is a, a shift in perception, perception is looking at something in a certain way. So it's a difference in looking at what was occurring to me. Um, it gave me profound spiritual insight and it led me to understand my emotions as powerful allies in my journey, in my spiritual journey. In this video, um, we're going to explore how you too can use emotional alchemy to turn your feelings into catalysts for spiritual growth. We'll break down what emotional alchemy is and why it's crucial for personal development. I'll guide you through practical exercises, and real-life applications that will help you embrace your emotions as a pathway to greater spiritual awareness. So if you're ready to transform your emotional landscape and embark on a journey of self-discovery and spiritual empowerment, let's go into it together. Let's dive into it together. Remember, your emotions are not just experiences. There are gateways to deeper understanding and spiritual connections. So stay tuned as we unlock the secrets of emotional alchemy. All right, so in this part of the video, we're going to unravel the mystical concept of emotional alchemy, a fascinating approach that goes beyond merely managing emotions to really transforming them. So what exactly is emotional alchemy? At its core, emotional alchemy is the process of transforming our emotional experiences into valuable insights and spiritual growth. So 
unlike traditional methods that focus on controlling or managing your emotions, emotional alchemy invites us to embrace and explore the feelings that we have and explore them as powerful energy so that that it can be transmuted into spiritual awareness and personal evolution. So a little more deeper into the idea of emotions as energy brings me to say that every emotion we experience, be it happiness, anger, or sadness, carries an energetic charge. It's energy. And by acknowledging and harnessing this energy, we can shift our perspective from viewing emotions as obstacles to recognizing them as opportunities for profound transformation. This shift in the mindset that we have is crucial because it opens up a pathway for positive change and deeper self-awareness. Imagine your emotions as a river, okay? A river of energy flowing through you, right through you. Instead of building a dam to stop the flow, emotional alchemy encourages you to navigate the current, allowing it to guide you to new insights and spiritual realizations. This process is not just about suppressing emotions, but about transforming. Okay, I think you're getting the idea. Transforming their energy into something more meaningful. meaningful. So if we view emotions as opportunities for an awakening, for spiritual awakening, we can begin to see them as messengers guiding us toward a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. Each emotional experience, all emotional experiences become a chance to learn, grow, and connect more deeply with our spiritual selves. And as we continue this, journey. Remember that your emotions are not hurdles that you have to overcome, but they're sort of gateways to transform spiritual growth. So embracing them, exploring them, and letting them illuminate your path to greater awareness will bring on spiritual growth. So stay with me as we delve deeper into the transformative process and discover practical ways to apply emotional chemistry. Chemistry, I, I every time I say alchemy, it reminds me of chemistry, emotional alchemy in your life. It is a chemical process, really. So now that we've laid the foundation of emotional chemistry, there it is again, emotional alchemy, and we've talked about it, tried to understand it, let's explore the transformative process, step by step. So you can apply these principles in your own life. So the first, um, the first step, the journey begins with awareness. This means recognizing and giving your emotions a name without judgment. It's about observing your thoughts as if you were outside of yourselves. Observe your feelings with childlike curiosity rather than being critical. When you feel an emotion rising, take a moment to pause and identify it. Is it anger? Is it sadness? Is it joy or something else? Give it a name. By doing this, you can create a space between yourself and that emotion, allowing for a deeper understanding and the opportunity to respond rather than react. Then once you're aware of your emotions, the next step is acceptance. Embrace your feelings as, an, as natural aspects of the human experience. We are humans after all. This doesn't mean you have to like them or agree with them, but rather acknowledge their presence and validity. Um, acceptance is about letting go of resistance and understanding that emotions are transient, but they're informative. And by accepting your emotions, you honor the truth of your experience and open the door to transformation. 
The final step then is integration, using your emotional insights to inform and enrich your spiritual practices. Allow your emotions to guide you, to guide you toward deeper self-awareness and spiritual growth. For example, if you're feeling anxious, use that energy to fuel literally to fuel a meditation sessions session focused on peace and grounding integrate these emotional experiences into your spiritual journey making them valuable teachers and allies they are your allies now i'd like to talk about practical tips for uh, mindfulness and presence um, to enable, to be able to transform your emotions effectively. Maintaining mindfulness and presence is key. Here are some practical tips that I uh, may help you feel and stay grounded during your emotional experiences. The first, your breath awareness. When emotions run high, focus on your breath. Take slow, deep breaths and imagine each inhale bringing calm and each exhale releasing tension. Another, this, this is a simple practice, okay? We get this. It's breathing, but it's breathing with mindfulness. And this simple practice can help you stay centered and present. Another, um, another thing that can help you is to perform a quick body scan. To identify where you're holding tension. So what is this body scan? You relax those areas of uh, uh, your body as you breathe deeply, allowing your body to release any emotional energy stored. Then you will carry out a mindful observation. Practice observing your emotions as if they were, as if you were um, a physician or a, an impartial witness, someone that's not linked to you personally. Imagine you're watching a movie where your emotions are characters, are people, okay? Um, this detachment, because it is a form of detachment, it helps you gain perspective and reduces the intensity of those emotions and that emotional experience. Then, of course, we have our journaling, gratitude journaling. At the end of the day, I would say every day, if you can, write down three things that you're grateful for, including any emotional insights that you've gained. This practice helps you shift your focus from what's challenging to what's enriching, reinforcing a positive transformation. And by incorporating these um, steps and tips into your daily routine, you'll develop a deeper connection with your emotions and transform them into powerful catalysts for that spiritual awareness. Remember, it's a journey and each step takes you a little closer to a more authentic and spiritually rich life. So stay with us as we delve further into the practical exercises that can empower you on this transformative path. Now, in this part of the video, I'd like to go into practical exercises that can help you harness that power of, um, of the emotions and start the emotional alchemy in your daily life. So these exercises are designed to transform your emotions into spiritual awareness. They're simple, but they're very powerful techniques. The first is breath work. We mentioned, we just mentioned breathing. Now, breath work is a fundamental practice for centering and grounding emotions. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you get started. Now, find, first of all, find a quiet space. You, st you sit com comfortably in a chair or on the floor and make sure your spine is comfortable and your hands rest gently on your knees. 
Close your eyes then. Take a moment to relax and focus your attention inward. Then inhale deeply. Inhale slowly through your nose, counting to four. Feel your chest and abdomen expand as you fill your lungs with air. Hold your breath. Hold your breath for a count of four. Remember, I once mentioned a box, box breathing. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold. So again, hold your breath for a count of four, allowing the energy to settle and calm your mind. Then after four, you exhale slowly and gently through your mouth. Inhale through the nose, four, then exhale for a count of six. Exhale for a count of six, releasing any tension or emotional energy. And then you repeat. You continue this cycle for several minutes, focusing on your breath as it flows in and out. Allow each exhale to ground you further into the next moment. Now, the next sec exercise I'd like you to try is journaling. Like I mentioned, it's a powerful tool for reflecting on your experiences, on your emotional experiences, and on the insights that you gain. So here's how to make the most of your practice of journaling. Set aside time. The first thing, dedicate 10 or 15 minutes each day for journaling, preferably in a quiet, distraction-free environment. I like to journal in the mornings. Um, there's an expression in Italian that says, la notte porta consiglio. Night brings counsel, brings advice, brings, brings um, wisdom. So I'd like to do it in the morning. A distraction-free environment. Now, reflect on your emotions. You begin by writing about emotions you've experienced throughout the day and through the night. Be honest and descriptive, allowing your thoughts to flow freely. And the next, you can use prompts. Consider using prompts such as, what did I feel today and why? Uh, questions, and you can answer those questions. Or, what insights did I gain from my emotions? And you can answer that in your journals. Then when you go back and read, you look for patterns emerging in your writing. Pay attention to recurring emotions. With time, you'll become um, better at describing with different words specific emotions. Um, the pattern that emerges can be very revealing and help you understand the deeper roots of your feelings. And then you can conclude with gratitude. For those of you who like to journal in the evening, you journal and then conclude with gratitude. End your journaling session by noting something you're grateful for, by uh, reinforcing a positive mindset. Now, the third exercise I'd like you to try is an exercise of visualization. For many people, it's very easy for some not so, um, but visualiza visualization using your mind's eye can transform your emotions by reimagining them as positive energies. Now, follow these steps. First, you relax and you focus. You sit down or you lie down in a comfortable position. You close your eyes and then you take a deep few breaths to center yourself. Then we Imagine your emotions. You imagine your emotions. You visualize the emotions you want to transform. Give it a shape. Give it a color. Give it texture. Imagine it as a tangible energy within your body. Then the process of transforming the energy. Visualize this energy gradually changing into a bright healing light. Imagine it spreading warmth and positivity throughout your body. Then you start to embrace the transformation. Feel that light expanding, filling you with a sense of peace and empowerment. Allow this transformation to imbue you with clarity 
and awareness. Then you return finally to the present. Slowly open your eyes and take a moment to notice how you feel bringing this newfound energy into your day. I really encourage you to try these exercises and share your experiences in the comments below. Your journey is unique. All of our journeys are unique. Uh, But by sharing, not only um, you don't not only share and support your own growth, but also inspire others. And together we can create a community of shared wisdom and spiritual transformation. Now, Um, I'd like to mention, after all of what has been said, I'd like now to explore how the transformed emotions can deepen your spiritual practices and and enhance your connection with your higher self and intuition. Let's discover how these elements can manifest in our daily lives, bringing profound spiritual awareness. Transformed emotions play a crucial role in enriching our spirituality. When we transmute emotions like anger and fear into understanding and compassion, we create a fertile ground for spiritual growth. For instance, if you're practicing meditation, use the energy of transformed emotion. It can enhance your focus and deepen the meditative state. When you channel the clarity that you have gained from processing emotions into your yoga practice, for example, each pose becomes more intentional, allowing you to connect more deeply with your body and spirit. Now, connecting with your higher self, emotions are powerful and they're powerful enough to help you connect with your higher self and intuition. When You transform emotions into positive energy. You clear the path for intuitive guidance. Imagine you're feeling anxious about a decision. By acknowledging that and transforming this anxiety into calm reflection, you open yourself to intuitive insights that might have been overshadowed by emotional turmoil. This process helps you and, you know, count on it, helps you trust your inner voice, allowing intuition to guide your actions more confidently. It works every time. Consider consider this. Consider a, a scenario where you're faced with a challenging situation at work. Okay. Instead of reacting with frustration, God only knows I have a hot head. What you do is transform this energy, this emotion into curiosity and openness like a child. This shift not only provides insight into resolving the issue, but also strengthens your connections to your higher self that thrives on understanding and growth. Um, You can manifest spiritual awareness in your daily life because transformed emotions For example, the gratitude that's cultivated from transforming sadness into appreciation can lead to a heightened sense of joy in simple activities like walking in nature or sharing a meal with loved ones. This awareness often brings a sense of peace and fulfillment, transforming daily routines and experiences into moments of spiritual connection. Another example is when you transform impatience, again here, God knows how impatient I am, transform impatience into patience during your daily commute, when you're commuting to work. This shift can turn a mundane journey into an opportunity for mindfulness, allowing you to notice details you might not have Uh, unknown before you have missed, like the beauty of the morning light and the rhythm of light around you, the sounds. Incorporating these practices into your daily life not only enhances your spiritual journey, as I have mentioned so many times in this video, but also enriches your overall well-being. And I don't know anyone who can't use a more overall improved well-being. So by embracing your emotions, 
as allies and guides, you unlock that potential for transformation, spiritually speaking, and I invite you to reflect on how these insights can be integrated into your life. And I'd love to hear from your experiences, about your experiences, and thoughts in the comments below. Let's continue the journey of emotional alchemy together, embracing each step as a path to greater spiritual awareness. And as we conclude our exploration of alchemy, emotional alchemy, I want to take a moment to invite you viewers to become an active part of this transformative journey. Your experiences and insights are valuable. Again, write your thoughts and reflections in the comments below. Whether you've had a transformative moment or a small epiphany, your story can inspire and resonate others in with others in our community. I also welcome your questions and suggestions for future videos. Is there a particular aspect of emotional alchemy you'd like to dive deeper into? Or perhaps a new topic on spirituality that intrigues you? Let me know. Your engagement helps me create content and that truly um, content that really can meet your interests and needs. So to further foster a sense of community, I'd invite, I'd like to invite you to join my social media, um, Facebook platform, Instagram. You can see that in the description below the video. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. Like the video, subscribe and hit that notification bell when uh, that will tell you when more uh, videos are uploaded. Until next time, keep exploring, keep transforming, and keep sharing. Bye-bye.